Welcome to another video of Warp PLS video series. Now, in order to understand the validity and reliability of the uh, model and the variable, we need to go to this view and then we'll go to this view indicator loadings and cross loadings. So let's just go to this uh, combined loading. And here you will have to see uh, and read about the loadings of uh, your variables. So how do we actually look at uh, this table? We have to look at this table from here. First of all, we need to see that LO, which is the learning organization, should be loading on its own items and the value should be above 0.5. But at the same time, we also need to look at these cross loadings, which means the same items when they are loading on the other variables and when they are loading uh, on their own items. So how do we differentiate? We need to make uh, two things clear here. One, that all the loadings in the brackets should be above 0.5. But at the same time, all the cross loadings on the other variables should be less than 0.5, which is the case. So in the second variable, we can uh, see uh, here that all the loadings except the first one is above 0.5. The first one is 0.383, so this is a problem. And at the same time, you can see that it is also cross-loading at 0 0.679, which is uh, above 0 0.5. So this item of KC, which is knowledge creation, can give us a problem which we may remove in our uh, SAM analysis. And then if you just look at the third variable, these are the values. Again, the first item is not right because it is uh, loading less than 0 0.5 here in its own items but it is loading, uh, cross loading 0 0.847, which is above 0 0.5. So again, we have a problem with this first item of innovation. And then the last one looks fine because all the items are loading uh, at more than 0 0.5 level and all the cross loadings are less than 0 0.5 level. So we can say that our uh, validity related to our loadings is fine. Another thing that we uh, do here is that we go to this view and we go to this view latent variable coefficients. Now, this is going to give us some of the very, very important values that we require in order to understand our uh, validity and reliability. So starting from uh, this composite reliability, this is uh, usually known as CR, composite reliability, and it is showing us that it has a value which is above 0.9 for almost uh, all of our variables. Now, the threshold is that it should be above 0 0.5. And then we have this Cronbach alpha, which is used for our reliability analysis and all of the values are above 0.9 which is very good and the threshold is that the values should be above 0 0.7. Then another very important measure is the AVE values, average variance extracted. So this should be above 0.5 and in all of our cases it is above 0.5 so this is also fine and then we have a VIF value which is variance inflation factor value now this value is 1.2 1.3 1.8 1.4 1 the threshold for this value is that it should be less than 5 some people say it should be less than 10 but to be uh, very accurate it should be less than 3.3. .3. So we are also fine with this one. Then we have some additional uh, things like skewness value, the kurtosis value, and again, the uh, 
uh, the, the thresholds are different for different authors, but the main way to understand is that it should be uh, close to zero. Or if you want to be uh, a little uh, threshold oriented, then skewness should be between minus one and plus one. And kurtosis can be between minus three and plus three, but it totally depends what kind of data you have and uh, what uh, author you're following in terms of normality. Then we have some more tests like uh, jog mera test for normality. And it is showing that some of the variables are not normal, but others are normal. So you can also have uh, this test here. And then we can also go to the, these histograms. So histogram of LO can be seen here. And then another can be seen here. And the same way we can also see the histogram and you can always save these histograms in uh, JPG file. So this is about uh, the, uh, discriminant and uh, convergent validity, but we have some more tests that are going to help us in understanding uh, our uh, validity. For example, if you go to this uh, explore setting and then if you look at these explore additional coefficient in indices, and here you have to go to this discriminant validity coefficients. And here we are going to get a lot many results, which are very important. For example, uh, this is the correlation squared AVEs among different latent variables. But here we are actually interested in the same result that we just saw. And again, we can see that our cross loadings and loadings are fine, except this and uh, there's one more variable, which is the innovation. So these two are not fine, but the rest of them are fine. We've already seen it. Now, full collinearity, VIF, we've seen it. It is also fine. One of the most important tests uh, that is currently being used for uh, discriminant validity is the HTMT ratios. HTMT is known as uh, heterotrait, monotrait ratios of correlations. Now, the best thing about warp PLS is that it will give you the threshold values. So if you look at this, it is saying that if it is less than 0.9, it is good. But if it is less than 0.85, it is the best. So we'll have to look at these values and these values are all uh, less than 0 .0, uh, 0 0.85 which is completely fine with us. And then we have the p-values, which are all significant, another indicator. And then at the end, we will also have this uh, HTMT ratio intervals. Interval means that lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence interval. So how can we see that uh, it has uh, uh, a significant value that is uh, actually indicated by looking at these two values and then seeing that zero does not lie between these two values the range of these two values or uh, you can say that there is no one between the range of these two values so if you just take a zero in the middle plus one here and minus one here these two values are falling towards the right side of the zero, which means zero does not fall within their range. So these are uh, lower level and upper level confidence intervals. So this is how you actually analyze that uh, your HTMT ratios are fine and your discriminant validity is also fine. Another indicator of uh, the uh, validity can be seen by going to this view and going to the correlation among latent variables and click here and here you can see this table but one thing that we have to note down here is that they have given us a value of ABE which is shown in diagonal within the brackets so how do we have to interpret it for the interpretation we will be looking at this side and we will have to see that the value of our AVE 
which is there in the bracket should be greater than all the rest of the values within that column and which is fine again in this column you'll have to see the that this value is above all the rest of the values and the same here the same here and when you look at these uh, p values these are also significant so this is another indicator of uh, your uh, validity thank you very much